very good morning so can i have your resume please yes yes so how are you i'm fine and what about you yeah fine so can you tell me about yourself okay ma'am first of all thank you for giving me this great opportunity to introduce myself to you i am anita adiga actually i am from guntur i am staying in hyderabad I completed my degree in the stream of B.Sc. Computers uh, in Krishnavani Degree College at Nashua Peta with an aggregate of 83%. My hobbies are gardening, listening to music, exploring new things, and my goal is I want to settle my career and I want to build my career. Where can I utilize all my skills and gain more knowledge and explore more things? Die. This is all about me. Okay. So. Are you comfortable with which programming language? I am very comfortable with Java. Java. Okay. Why you choose Java? Actually, we are having so many programming languages, right? Yes. Java, Python, all language. We are having so many programming languages. So why you are especially choosing Java? Nowadays, in this generation and this updated technology, Java is most popular language. Over three hundred languages. Java is widely used in internet through e-commerce websites and big data technologies like this. As I said, Java is very rarely, rarely used in Android technologies, and this is the best feature, and this is the best technology. This is the big technology nowadays we are using Android. That's why I choose Java. Okay. How how much rating you will give out of five? I will give four out of five for myself. because as i have only theoretical theoretical knowledge i don't have any practical or real time knowledge that's why i'm giving four for myself yes okay uh, you are saying that you are not having uh, practical knowledge so if i give any program how you can handle it then ma'am i have a theoretical knowledge very well about java and if uh, according to the project i will consult my seniors or my higher my team leaders are my programming managers i can manage my program or my project very well okay so can you name some features in java okay ma'am uh, there are many there are nearly 11 features in java i will say i will tell you some features first one is java is simple because the syntax which we are using in java is same as c and c++ so it's very easy to learn java and the next one is Uh, if there is any exception or uh, and the some typical points typical topics like pointers structures unions unions these are all deleted in java that's okay. why java is simple okay can you name um, any other some other features some other features java is robust mm -hmm. and we can if there is any exception or any error in java we can handle it by using exception handling and the and the memory allocation for the program is allocated by the jvm itself allocation and deallocation there will be no uh, outside problems will be raised because of this okay uh, and it is object oriented and we can call any programming language as object oriented if if it follows the following five features and the five features are class object encapsulation abstraction dynamic binary okay so can you tell me something about why we are calling java is a highly secure language java is a highly secure language because uh, nowadays the internet problems like eos dropping tampering impersonation virus these all problems are deleted in java that's why it is very highly secure okay uh, so have you faced any challenging situation and how you can handle it back in college days we have given a project and that is entirely different from our platform okay. and we don't know which which requirements we have to gather whom to consult how to delete how to complete this how in the time we have to given how to submit we don't know all these things by exploring by researching all these things we finally we submitted our project successfully this is the most challenging situation okay Uh, so do you have any knowledge in jdbc yes ma'am i have very good knowledge on jdbc okay so what is jdbc 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 is java database connectivity which is used to communicate with the database and to get the what the data we are requiring 
and it will make use of JDBC drivers. And Java is a specification vendor and database is a implementation vendor. The implementation vendor provided by database is called driver software. Okay. So what is uh, then driver manager? Driver manager. Driver manager is used to get connect with the database and it will make use of drivers. There are so many drivers according to our requirement, according to our specification, we will use different types of drivers. First of all, to use these drivers, we have to uh, we have to create a class and the syntax for creating that, that class will be class.farname on oracle.jdbc.driver.driverManager and to know if the driver is loaded or not, we have to use the following syntax will be driver manager dot get connection jdbc colon oracle colon team colon at the rate local host colon one five two one colon xc comma system comma and the password which we are giving in the creation of database okay so what is the difference between statement interface and prepared statement interface see why because when we are developing uh, jdbc applications mostly we are using prepared statement prepared right statement. so then why we are not using a statement interface and what is the difference between them? First of all, the reason why we are using prepared statement is it provides security. Yeah. We all want to any for application is the, the first reason is security and the different coming to the differences. When we are creating statement interface, there is no need to provide any query and the creating these statement syntax will be statement st is equal to con dot create statement mm. here we have to give no query and okay. coming to prepared statement we have to provide a query when we are creating an object for prepared statement and the syntax will be prepared statement pst equal to con dot uh, prepared statement of query and coming to statement interface it is used for static queries only mm. coming to prepared statement interface we, it will use both static and dynamic queries. Prepared statement is recommended to use when we are uh, working with multiple queries. Coming to the prepared statement interface, it is used to recommend uh, when we are working with only one query. And coming to statement interface, it performs very low because we are working with multiple queries. Coming to prepared statement, it will work very highly. And coming to statement interface, inserting big data like uh, seek, clog, blob, it's very okay. easy. Coming to prepared statement, it's difficult to insert large data. Large data. Yes. Okay. Uh, so then what is the difference between ODBC and JDBC? Okay. Uh, before inventing, inventing JDBC, there is a topic called ODBC. And the full form of ODBC is Open Database Connectivity. And coming to JDBC, it's Java Database Connectivity. ODBC is developed in native languages like C, C++ and JDBC is developed in Java only. ODBC, we can use ODBC for any languages like C, C++, for Java also we can use ODBC. For ja but JDBC is used in only Java applications and JDBC is invented in uh, Microsoft in, in the year of 1992. But JDBC, JDBC, yeah. ODBC, ODBC, it's ODBC, okay. 1992. Okay. And JDBC is invented by Sun Microsystems in Sun Microsystems in the year 1997. Okay. okay. What is ROSET? Uh, ROSET is an object that encapsulates the row from a result set of JDBC. Okay, JDBC. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is the purpose of getter and setter methods in result set? Uh, the purpose of getter methods is to retrieve the data which is in database mm -hmm. and the syntax for this method will be int get int of here we have to provide column name or column value as a parameter in this method and the syntax will be int get int of string column name okay so based on the type of data you want where we can use this result set actually to retrieve the data from the result JDBC results sets or tabular forms we use results sets. So what is the difference between execute, execute query and execute update? And first of all we use these queries in SQL to retrieve the data uh, from the database. Coming to execute, these query is used to uh, 
These query is used in SQL to retrieve the data. Coming to execute query, these query is used for SQL select query only. Coming okay. to execute update, these query is used to manipulate the data. That means inserting the data or deleting the data or updating the data. Okay. Uh, so what is the definition for SQL injection? What is SQL injection? Uh, basically SQL injection is a code injection that can destroy our database. And SQL injection is the commonly used web technique to destroy the data. And this is also called a hacking technique of web, te web technology. And this SQL injection replaces the code with malicious code through web pages of input. Okay. So what is connection pool? It's connection pool is the uh, connections that, that stores in cache memory for future purpose. Whenever a server requests, it will no, it will no need to create a new connection every time. Uh, instead of creating new connection every time, it will retrieve the already stored connections. Okay. And uh, its maintenance is very easy because uh, already connections are there. No need to develop new connections. And performance will be very high. Very high. Okay. Uh, can you explain about the type 4 driver? You are saying that uh, uh, before uh, you said one example. We are using thin driver. Thin driver is type 4 driver. Okay. Can you mention what is thin driver? And what are the advantages and disadvantages, the, or disadvantages of thin driver? Okay ma'am. First of all, the another name of thin driver is also called uh, net native protocol or pure driver, pure java driver. Uh, why, we, why we are calling this as pure java driver is it is purely developed and the, ma the main or main code which is present in thin driver is totally entirely developed in java only. That's why it is also called pure java driver. And coming to working of this thin driver will be, it will convert JDBC calls into database specific native protocols directly. There will be no intermediate presented between the thin, thin driver and database. So the coming to the advantages, the, it, it performs very highly. And it is purely developed in Java, that's why there is no need to uh, maintain some core libraries or folders, there is no need to maintain any other. It is uh, totally developed in Java and because of this reason it is platform independent. Because Java is also platform independent, it is developed in Java so thin driver also becomes platform independent. And it converts database specific calls into native protocols and the only one and only limitation of these thin driver is it directly communicates with the database, so it is database dependent. This is the only limitation we only have in limitation. Thing, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what type of applications we can develop by using thin driver? What can we develop large scale applications yes. or small scale applications? Large scale applications also will be developed in thin driver. Is it possible by using thin driver? Yes. Okay. Um, so, can you tell me what are the steps to develop a JDBC application? Oh. So, uh, take the marker and write down it on the board. Okay? So, what are the steps to develop JDBC applications? Start. The steps to develop uh, any JDBC application will be coming to the first step. In the first step, we have to create a class and the syntax will be class dot. step and the second step will be we have to create a object and the syntax for this will be
then coming to the last here we have to give a password and the password will be which we are giving to the database when we are logging in and I am writing anything like here is this password can be anything that you have given when creating the data database okay. and coming to the start step in this start step these connection will be uh, these connection will be executed in JDBC and from here it will goes to the DB connection from this it will execute the query and the result will be displayed okay so if you want to create a connection which interface or class we can use we can use statement interface or prepared statement interface and mm. most of us uses prepared statement interface because of providing security because of providing security, security. okay mm. okay write down in the next step we have to close that connection so how you can write down a prepared statement interface can you write down syntax this will be the object for this prepared statement mm -hmm. this con will be where is connection object then did you create any yes. connection object? Here we have to create a connection object. Mm. Okay. This con will be the object of connection. Mm. So here we can call prepare statement or prepared statement. Prepared statement. Here will be prepared statement. Mm. But you are writing prepared. Sorry for the mistake. Here it will be prepared statement. Here it will be prepared statement. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so by using these steps, what you can do means I want to insert some data in the database. Okay. okay. What is the code we are applying? Okay. What is the code we need to write? Okay. So how to insert a data into the database okay. uh, I am passing student number student name and student days for this for this purpose I am taking three variables Now I am taking another variable for inserting student name and student name will be in string. taking another variable for student age I'm taking try block if there is an exception it will handle it. I am creating a class Now 
creating prepared statement so if you want to develop a jdbc applications uh, can we use only this java code or uh, we can use any other concept we can use another concept also what is that concept statement interface also we can use So J text fields uh, buttons all these are present in uh, swings concept. All these concepts are present in. Okay. Whatever the query you have written in the prepared statement, is it correct? Insert query is correct. Did you return insert query, right? So prepared statement PN is equal to con dot prepare statement. See the query. Query. Query see the query. Is it a proper way to represent the query? Insert. See. Insert. You have done one mistake in the query. What is the mistake you have done? So the mistake is insert into student values. If you write down the query like that, it will be accepted. Again, you are doing the same mistake. Student values. Why you are writing DET? See, when you are writing any SQL queries, uh, you need to see properly. Otherwise, it cannot insert any data. Okay, after writing that query, what we have to do? After writing prepared statement, what we have to do? Side you can write them. Side you can write them. This is for to set the value for student number. Okay. what are the types of architectures in JDBC. It's okay. okay. 
So explain what are the different types of architectures we are having. Okay. We are having two types of architectures in JDBC and the first one will be two tier architecture and the second one will be three tier architecture. First of all I will explain the two tier architecture. Okay. Just explain with the diagram, that's it. In two tier architecture what will be happen? And again in three tier architecture what will be happen? Let us assume it will be a LAPI or any system or desktop system. Mm. And here will be the database. Okay. In this the server, the system or the LAPI or the, the desktop directly connect with the database. There will be no intermediate or mediator present between the system and the database. It is like a client server architecture. Okay. The, the server directly connects with the client and the whatever the data we require it will get from the database. Okay. Now you can say whether JDBC is following two tier architecture or three tier architecture. JDBC follows two tier architecture or three tier architecture? It will follow two types of architecture. Both. Okay. So, and what about three tier architecture? Coming to the three tier architecture. This is a Java applet. It is completely opposite of two tier architecture. Here the server application will act as a mediator between the Java applet and the database. First of all, the request will come from Java applet to server application and from then server application to database. And again database will send response to the first server application. From server application, the data which we want to retrieve, we will get. Then it will act as intermediate between two, these two data. Okay. Mention the error marks, how the data is transferring. First of all, we send the request from Java applet to server application and it will go from server application to database. Then again, the response will be sent from database to first server application. The server application will send the data which we are retrieving to Java, Java application. Okay, yeah, have your suit. So, your uh, technical round is completed. So, what are your salary expectations? As a fresher, because experience speaks more than theoretical knowledge. So, I want to gain some no some knowledge or some experience first. And as per company terms and conditions, I'm expecting my salary. Okay. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I will be continuing to grow in my career and taking more responsibilities in our organization. And I want to be more responsible, more knowledgeable and more mature person in my life. Okay. So, as per now, your interview is completed. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. So, for further details, our HR madam will inform to you.